Five Davidson County deputies found themselves in church, but they weren't there to worship. They were there to arrest the pastor and his son for allegedly selling large amounts of drugs right out of the fellowship hall. Thanks for sticking with us live at five. I'm Siobhan Bryan. Tonight, former church members and neighbors were telling WBTV's David Wisnett they're heartbroken over what has become of their church home. Now, former church members and neighbors are telling David Wisnett that they're so upset about this happening. David's live in Davidson County at the Sheriff's Office. David, was this an active church? Well, Siobhan, according to one of those former members, he told me that until about four years ago, it was an active church, but he said that's when the new pastor came in. Well, that pastor is no longer in the pulpit, and on Sunday, he was taken to the county lockup. It's, uh, well, it, it's a pitiful situation. Southside Baptist Church is where Mike Lamba celebrated two of the biggest days of his life. That's where I got saved and also got married there. So, and I loved all the people there, you know, and, and it's just meant a lot to me. On and Sunday, I deputies with the Davidson County Sheriff's Office raided the church and the fellowship hall that sits behind it. They say they found large amounts of marijuana, dozens of vape pens, THC wax, and psychedelic mushrooms, enough for trafficking charges against the pastor, Josh Price, and his son, Matthew. This guy had met him one time, and his... Our spirits didn't bear witness at all, so I did not think he was a pastor. And I told a lot of them members there, I said, y'all better watch out for him. Lamba says when Price first came to Southside, he told members to leave and not come back. Then he closed the church, but not because of the pandemic. It was closed because he ran everybody off. That church has been shut down way prior to that. And neighbors like Lisa Yawn tell me they're glad deputies made the raid. But we don't want these drugs around here. And they're and angry that the church was being used for illegal activities. Absolutely. That's why I say I, I really hope they burn in hell. I wanted to see if Price or any family members had anything to say. Hello? Anybody home? But no one responded. There, Mike yeah, Lamba says the drugs are just part of the saying. problem. He says the pastor won't let family members visit the church cemetery and that they're storing their furniture in the sanctuary. He just hopes this arrest may mean change is on the way and this little church can get back to its calling. So I know the Lord can't be happy with it. Now, Price and son apparently are out now of the Davidson County Jail, but there was enough drugs, according to deputies, that they've been charged with drug trafficking from that church in the fellowship hall they're due in court next month. Live in Davidson County, David Wisnett, WBTV on your side. A wild story indeed. David, thank you. Live at five, one person is dead.